Yo, can you just kind of talk about how you guys were able to make plays down the stretch tonight? Well, I think the main thing was us getting stops defensively. You know, we came together, had a collective mindset that we wanted to get stops. You know, we weren't really converting on offense, but, you know, we weren't scoring, they weren't scoring. And we were just able to come out at the end of the game. For any of you guys, uh, <clears throat> you've won a lot of games with your offense, but to, to be able to ground out a win like this wh where you played so well defensively, how important is that uh, going forward and is it something you can build on? Yeah, I think that's very important uh, for us to build on. And, you know, I think this game, the fans definitely helped us out a lot. So, you know, thank them for being here, giving, you know, the building a lot of energy and, you know, just getting this win at home. Yogi, how big was uh, was OG tonight? Just he came off the bench, hit three threes and some timely shots. Yeah, yeah. This is OG. I, I saw OG's potential in the summer. You know, he was just a shy, quiet guy in the summer. <laughs> he knows it uh, back then. But, you know, we've been on him about, you know, bring that out. You know, we're going to need that to win. And, you know, these three Big Ten games that we played, I feel like OG has been – you know, a great factor for us in these wins. Yogi, does this almost feel like maybe, I guess, the next checkpoint in defensive development, kind of coming off that Nebraska game where you be able to hold, uh, you know, Shields and White to, to a, you know, a limited performance and you kind of hold Koenig and um, Hayes tonight. Does it feel like maybe the next step in the defensive development? Well, yeah. I mean, like I said before, you know, each game will give you something different. You know, every team has their stars. And, you know, the next step is we can't play hard defense in the second half because, that's not going to get us a win, you know, down the road playing somewhere like Michigan State. Um, you know, you got to play defense for 40 minutes, you know, half to half, and uh, just find a way. Questions for OG uh, or Thomas? Uh, OG, I'm, I'm curious, were you that good a three point shooter in high school? And, and where does this, or maybe you have, but where does this come from? Uh, I just, I thought I was, but <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just shoot a lot after practice, shoot with guys like Yogi and Rob. And, and help you son. <laughs> I used to shoot a lot with guys like Yogi and Rob and Nick, and they just stay on me about it. So you feel like you're ready to challenge Nick and Yogi for three points? You know? <laughs> Don't tell anybody that. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, Thomas, you've known OG, I think, since April at the Derby Festival game. You got to know him. How have you seen him grow and develop since since you first met him? Oh, I've seen him grow a lot. Um, since uh, the Kentucky Derby, you know, I saw like he was a real good guy on and off the court, and I saw the potential. And like we came in for the summer, you know, when he was finishing with the guards instead of the bigs, you know, that took that caught my eye quick. You know, he just kept improving. I just see him going and get extra work in, and always wanting to get better, and that really that really shows on the court. Hey, yo, in the first twelve minutes of the second half, you just held them to like zero point four points per possession, one of the worst stretches. No, uh, what was key for us was to get stops. You know, we knew this was going to be a grind out game, and the only way was basically just buckle down on defense, and you know, just try and take away some of the key tendencies like Koenig and Hayes and what they want to do. Yeah, yeah, Rick. 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 Did, did the 1976 guys talk to you guys at all before the game, and if so, what did they say? They didn't really say much to us. Um, yeah, they didn't really, they didn't really say much. Can you talk about what it meant to get the win in front of the last undefeated basketball team all for you guys out there there in front row watching you all get the win tonight? Yeah, I mean, that definitely means a lot. And, you know, in my eyes, that's something I'm going to remember uh, for an undefeated team that I currently play for, that they previously played for, to come in and see us get a win in front of them. Uh, you know, that definitely means a lot to me and definitely my team. Yogi, I guess obviously we know James is going to be out for a long period now, not this season. The bench has really stepped up these first three games with him out. I know we asked about OG, but as a guy who started a lot, sort of what do you tell those guys coming off the bench, particularly the young guys, about how they can sustain their impact over the course of an entire Big Ten season? Yeah, I mean, the main thing is you just got to stay ready always. You never know when your name's going to be called when you're on the bench. And you got to have that mindset of, okay, how am I going to go in and impact this game for my team, our team to win? And, you know, I felt like guys like OG, Harrison, Ryan Burton, the guys that can come in the game for us when it's a tight game, and they can come in and impact the game for our team.
Tom, do you, do you see yourself as a, as a guard, a forward, just a basketball player? What, what, what are you? Uh, just a basketball player. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you guys get more words out of OG than we do? or No. More what? More words out of OG than we do? <laughs> I told you, he's shy. That's <laughs> not true, I'm not shy. Tom, you, you had 10 points in the first half, pretty effective inside. Did they do anything different to you in the second half that you weren't able to get some of those looks? Oh, um, no, no. Getting those points in the first half really freed up my teammates, you know. Uh, I believe Nick got a three, uh, he got a clutch three right there off the sh uh, coming up when they all came down on me. And uh, Yogi got some real good looks. Uh, and got fouled too, you know, with me coming up and uh, demanding the ball, but also it opens up so much for my teammates, you know. Um, it doesn't matter about me scoring points, as long as we get the win, I don't care. You know, my teammates can score as much as they want, I can end with zero points and still get the win, I'll still be happy. It's been 40 years since the team went undefeated and won the NCAA National Championship. Of course, that's ancient history to you, you weren't even born, but how impressive or spectacular is that to think about Nobody else has been able to do what that team did out there tonight. Oh, I think about that every day walking in the walking in the Cook Hall, you know, and then seeing the history right here, you know, that that's unbelievable, you know. When you get to meet those guys, you get to talk to them, you know, um, there's a certain humbleness you have to yourself, you know, and you try to pick up anything that those guys will try to give you, you know. You just want to go out there and play well, you know, and get a win for those guys when they're here to, sh to watch and, uh, and to show that you're representing them uh, to the best of your ability. Yes, it looked like Early in the season, you guys playing defense wasn't fun, but it looks like it's it's fun now. I mean, is it what what's been the metamorphosis? What's been the change? Just continuing the steps of defensive of our defensive work. You know, um, we got better and better as the season went on in practices. You know, um, coach got on us before. You know, we get on each other now, and we just we don't want to go into a game to where like it's only offense carrying us. You know, we're an offense and defensive team too. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.